students as we have seen in the previous section what is boundary layer separation along with that we have learned about skin friction and drag friction we know that whether it be a streamlined body or a bluff body, there will be always boundary layer separation. So, we have to design few things aerodynamically or few uh, quantities aerodynamically such that the boundary layer separation does not occur till the end. Such bodies are called as aerophytes. <music> So, we will define what is an aerofoil definition. Definition of an aerofoil. Now, in this part, let us study what is exactly an aerofoil. So, aerofoil is typically in aerodynamic in shape. So, it will be somewhat like this in shape, or we can consider a shape of a drop that shape of a drop is in an aerofoil aerofoil shape now this shape is such that if we consider this as an aerofoil this shape is such that over here this will be the starting point or leading edge as we go ahead over here the boundary layer separation does not occur right till the very end or it just occurs near the trailing edge so that is what is an aerofoil over here we can consider this part we can consider this line which divides the aerofoil into two equal parts so this line divides into two equal parts this is the line of symmetry of an aerofoil so now the boundary layer separation will not occur till the very end now due to which there will be only one friction which is acting on the body that will be due to screen, uh, skin friction now this skin friction is friction on the surface of the body and there is a very small amount of wake formation is developed at the end of the body now and naturally occurring aerofoil is a drop now let us study how does a drop work so supposingly it rains so what happens initially the speed the water it it is in the form of a bubble but this bubble as it comes down what happens is there will be change in the shape of the bubble such that it induces less amount of drag force on it now this shape of the drop is called as an aerofoil shape now, if further the velocity of the drop increases then what happens over here the there will be boundary layer separation and wake formation inside the bubble inside the drop and this entire drop splits up into n number of droplets and that droplets will again form a aerofoil shape and there will be less in uh, less in what uh, in dimension but there will be more in number but due to this what happens is th this entire drop will have a small amount of small amount uh, small amount of shape now this shape is so small that the drag force induced is equals to the weight and it comes down with its maximum velocity that is terminal velocity as well as at the end of the at the end of this entire droplet there will be a formation of uh, wake formation or there will be boundary layer separation so i hope you have understood what is an aerofoil and what is the major reason why we create an aerofoil thank you